Welcome. Today we will learn about the thromin cleavage. How does it work? Suppose you clone a gene. This is your desired gene into a bacterial expression vector. This bacterial expression vector contain the suppose a tag in my experience i used gst tag so this is gst and here is the lac operon here is the origin of replication site here is the cloning site so if you clone and insert this dna Suppose here, this is GST and this is your desired DNA. So, if you synthesize this, synthesis this uh, protein, a specific, this uh, fusion protein, we call it the fusion protein when uh, this uh, gene of interest uh, translate some protein of interest with a tag already in the bacterial expression vector that time we call it the fusion protein so this fusion protein like this here is your tag and here is your desire protein how can i go down okay just slide on the other hand this vector has the thrown inside how can i get the color okay Suppose here there is a thromin site. This is the tag. Oh, sorry, I have to erase. I will go the previous one. Okay. This is the tag, and before this cloning site, this cloning site here is the thromin site. So you can cleave this thromin. Here is the thromin site. So if you cleave this thromin, then you will get only your desired product. Okay, so next press I will go. Okay, this is GST. This is your target protein. Uh, okay, TP is the target protein. Just for understanding, and this is the thrown inside. So if you want to cleave this then you have to use thrombin and thrombin will bind here and it cleave and it make two segment one is GST one is your target protein. So now, this is the basic and now from the beginning, this is your clone DNA, you transform to the E. coli, 
E. coli have its original chromosomal DNA and this transformed. This is the plasmid DNA, that means the circular DNA, and it make multiple copy. So after making this multiple copy, you add IPTZ to induction your target protein. So that time your protein synthesis. So okay. now your protein is GST plus this is target protein and here is the thrombin site. Okay, I will talk this later. So first of all you have to use the bead. This is called the glutathione bead. So these two types of bead are used. One is resin another one is sepharos so both bead are same um, function they have the uh, tag like this glutathione tag so this I the uh, because of the affinity this GST tagged this uh, fusion protein will be captured like this this is the GST and this is the target protein target protein so this bead has a specific uh, character that it is uh, work against the um, gravity so when you put in the micro centrifuge tube on ml that time if it is mixed then after overnight incubation this uh, protein all will bind to this uh, bead and then you pull down this bead will be pulled down here and supernatant you discard so you collect this bead that contain the bead GST plus this is the bead, this is GST, and this is target protein. So finally, you pull down here, and then <coughs> this pull down protein you have to purify. So wash five times, and then this washed bead. Here is the thrombin site I already mentioned. So if you cut here, this bead will pull down with this GST and this protein TP will be in the supernatant. Here is the bead that contain with this GST that means like this and this supernatant contain your target protein okay so this time a new kit they provide the kit contain the thrombin is conjugated with the bead also this is called the resin bead Uh, suppose this is the resin bead and this is thrombin if I am humorous then I will do like this this is thrombin resin bead and this is the thrombin protein this is the scissor <laughs> okay so this area will cut the this is uh, thrombin T S R, and this is bead. So, and this is your pull down. This is the thrombin site, and this is your 
target protein and then it will cut here <coughs> so you have to optimize this step with incubation in my case I can share my experience 16 hour and this thromine amount is 0 0.4 sorry 0 0.04 unit per ml thrombin and protein concentration on milligram per ml and that means one microgram per microliter and RPM is uh, 5 RPM 22 25 24 degrees centigrade that means RT so this incubation in the first dilution I got 0 0.15 microgram per microliter so you can see 1 microgram per microliter protein I obtained only 0 0.15 so only 1.5 percent sorry 15 percent protein I can obtain by thrombin cutting and other 85 percent protein is remain uncut so now these two types of bead when we incubate this is the thrombin site then this will cut here so this is the append of tube this both bead are pulled down here and only your TP in the supernatant so it is easy step just pull down this bead and collect the supernatant after then measure the concentration and use it to the cell as a treatment So this is all guys.